Top air pillar trim panel on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1, 99 to 2007. If you're thinking of fitting a dash cam on the windscreen behind the rear view mirror, it's often desirable to have a means to permanently power the device. This inevitably leads to feeding the cable up behind the air pillar just here. To take off the panel we must first pull away the door seal from the panel edge, leaving you enough space to work around. This gives enough access to the open seam to release the clips. The clips are quite tight and often come away from the panel or even break in the holders, so you really need to do this carefully. You need to release the top clip first, and if you prise it back a little bit and shine a torch you can see where the clip is. What you need is an angled flat bladed tool, such as an angled trim screwdriver or a nail puller. I've got this uh, angled trim tool, it's just about strong enough, but it's still much better than just a straight screwdriver, as they tend to pop the panel off before you get onto the clips holder. Gently feed the angled tool up to one side of the clip mounting holder or shoulder, just here and then slowly release back against the clip holder to release the clip, like so. Here's the shoulder you're pressing up against. Same thing for the second clip. And the final one. Seems a bit tighter. Oh, I think the clip's come off. Oh, I'll have to see where that's gone. Ah, I can just see the clip inside the dashboard. I think I'll need my nifty retrieval tool to get at that. Just feed that in here. And nip it. Got it, that's it. Just bring it out. And there we are, one clip retrieved. Here's the panel. With the three clips and the locating spigot at the top here. When the clips come out, they're quite easy to put back in. Just nip the clip together and slot back in. It's also useful to put a little bit of grease on the clip as well for next time. Here's my little nifty retrieval tool with the little mini grappling fingers on the end, set in about a metre long flexible shaft. Very useful these, and I recommend always having one in your toolbox. And here's the pillar without the panel on. And as you can see there's plenty of space to run your cables up away from any water ingress. Just make sure you don't compromise the clip holders when they seat up against the metal on the pillar. Putting the unit back, feed the dashboard end in first. Then line up the bottom clip, and you can do this by looking through the outside of the windscreen. And I push that home before locating the top locating spigot. Once you've got that in place, you can grip the whole panel with both hands and pull towards the outside of the car, making sure each clip is clipped into place nicely, just like that. and simply align and feed the door seal troughs over the edge of the panel and the edge of the metal door frame. Pushing it home fully in place. And there we have it. Job done. Hope this helped you out guys.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.